It's one week till Essen. It's time to go over the top 10 most anticipated games of the spiel. Essen and BGG user Purple has been keeping track of everyone that has thumbed, must have interested or undecided a game in order to come up with a ranking for each of those games. So this is beyond what BGG does, which is just the thumbs. This is showing all the interest across everyone who has participated in the preview. So let's get started with number 10, Daitoshi. This is a game where you are playing the role of steam engineers and you are going around this rondelle board here. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, each one of these boards, um, it gives you an action. However, there is a negative action associated with each one that is going to change the state of the board. There's also a really cool production mechanic here uh, where your own personal board has a lot of production. And if you're the person that initiates production, you get to get a bonus, but then everyone else also produces. That's coming from Devere. That is Detoshi. And it's a heavy euro. However, they have actually departed from using that small box. This is a normal size, but skinny box. So there's still a smaller box than most uh, euros. However, it's not using that size that they have been used to. Next up is Black Forest, Uwe Rosenberg's successor to Glass Road. This is very much Glass Road with an additional board. Um, so here you have a merchant that can travel around and give you different abilities to help then uh, work out your Black Forest here that has that innovative wheel that he had in Glass Road and another one of his games uh, for your resources. This is coming to North America from Capstone Games. Um, so I'm excited to see that. I've already pre-ordered it, um, but it still has that same mechanic of the resources as well as your ability to change your forest itself. Uh, and then there is the central player board. So that is number nine. Over in at number eight from Burnt Island Games, based out of here in Toronto, uh, as well as Grand Gamers Guild. Uh, actually, sorry, I'm not sure where Burnt Island Games is from. <clears throat> but our Grand Island friends at Grand Gamers Guild, this is a successor to Endeavor Age of Sail. However, this time we are doing this in a scenario-based example, as well as under the ocean. So people are excited to see that. This one theme, not very much my jam, uh, but I definitely will still give it a play. Next up is Salt Fjord. This is another re-implementation. Uh, this re-implements Santa Maria, which had a very problematic theme. This is a dice drafting game where the dice can uh, change and manipulate uh, at multiple different spots around the board, beautiful dice. Uh, and so you can use your dice to do action to your board and your board in itself is also variable. So there's a lot of crunchy thinking that goes on with this. And so that one is excited to give a try out. Next up is Unconscious Mind. This has artwork by Vincent Detroit, one of my favorites. This is another heavy, heavy Euro coming out at Essen. This one, you are playing philosophers and you are trying to uh, work through the ideals of um, Freud. Um, and you have things like reputation and, and happiness uh, points and stuff. I'm interested to see how um, this plays and how uh, problematic it might end up being because this is a mental health is a very sensitive topic. Freud was uh, has been kind of disproven a, a few times uh, uh, and has been a little bit problematic at times with the way they approached uh, mental health. Um, so I'm interested to see how this plays out um, before I give it a, a buy. But this is a very, very heavy euro as well. Um, so if you're into heavy euros, that's going to be up your alley. Next up is ARCs. Uh, I saw this played over the weekend. It was an eight hour game. That's not for me. I also am not very much of a space fan. However, this is a space conflict game. Um, I think like if you like Twilight Imperium and those types of games, you're going to love ARCs. Next up is an expansion uh, for White Castle. So White Castle is probably going to win the German Spielfries. We'll find out at Essen. Um, because it's up against four shuffle and sky team and i think it's definitely going to be white castle uh i don't think the weight here is as is, is correct however this features a new game board it's probably going to have to live in its own box still so that's a little bit of a disnomer but you have an, an additional set of workers that you can put out an additional set of dice that you can use to draft 
and additional actions just to give you more and more points throughout the game of White Castle. Uh, that one I'm excited to try out. My friend has backed the uh, pre-ordered it. Um, they have White Castle. I have Red Cathedral, so we'll give that check out. Um, and she also have Flat Iron coming out and Keyframes coming out. Uh, two other games uh, at SN. Next up is a course Stefan Feld Point Salad game. This is Tech Trees, the Point Salad game essentially. If you love tech trees and advancing different uh, tech trees throughout the game, uh, this is something that you're going to want to check out. The it's also a city civ city civ builder type of idea. So it's civilization building as well as tech trees. Uh, a lot of different actions, a lot of different scoring mechanics to be expected uh, from Stefan Feld. All right, number two and number one are by the same designer. Um, we have talked about Tomas a couple of times already. They are like winning the show. Uh, so Galileo Galilee is a really cool game with this awesome mechanic here of the uh, selection of your actions and then your actions change around. You are trying to go ahead and discover different planets across and, and constellations uh, across the sky while also avoiding the negative effects of the church that is like, hey, that's blasphemous. The, the earth is flat, etc. kind of ideas. Uh, so I am picking up a copy of this. I am excited to give that a play next week. Um, actually, I think this is the only, uh, this one in Black Forest are the only ones that I have actually um, committed to buying. Um, Daitoshi, now that a lot more information has come out about it, I am really excited for as well. Finally, another space theme game, so it's not on my list of what I want to grab, uh, but this is Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI, also by Tomas. Uh, once again, they have three games here. Tea Garden is not in the top 10, but it is still high up there. This is a space exploration game. Um, I believe not without any exploitation. So it's not a 4X, it's more of a 3X. The board has a changing state as well as, you know, the same as Datoshi. And so once again, this one, you're going to be going around to different planets, trying to explore, collect data, uh, and, and that aspect. So those are the top 10 most anticipated games of Spiel. You can see all of the breakdowns here of how they, they have worked and how many thumbs they have got and all of that data, if you're really into the data nerd uh, aspect of these things. What are you looking forward to at Spiel? Am I going to see you there? I'm excited. I will be at the meet and play on Saturday. You can come play with me. Uh, I will most likely be playing Galileo Galilee um, and Agent Avenue that I'll be picking up um, and possibly the Footsteps of Mary Curie and A Factory of Dreams, a party game from uh, Funny Fox and Sorry We Are French. Um, the Honorable Mentions, Minos, Another Heavy Euro, Inferno, I don't know anything about it. Croft Wagon, it's a re reprint, uh, a new one. Windmill Valley, very cool mechanics. This is my mechanic video. Tea Garden, that's Tomas's uh, other uh, third design. Like I said, it's still in the top there, in the top 15. Let's go to Japan. This has been out for a while, uh, but I guess maybe not in Europe. So people are excited about that. Andromeda's Edge, this is another space game, um, uh, minis, etc. Ada's Dream, another really heavy Euro. Rasafa, a new game um, from Vladimir Suchi. So we'll see about that one. And Spectacular. This one um, is another import game uh, from the uh, Asia Pacific region. So we'll give that a try. Once again, that's it for today. We'll see you next week at Essen. That's it for my Essen coverage until I am back from there. Um, I hope to see you there. And like, subscribe, and see you next time.